Now you're a warrior right now. You got your lifting program at home, use it. When that running program gets there, make sure you're putting it to work. When we come back to camp, it's gonna be work, 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 till we open up. And then we're getting after people. And we're bringing 100 guys to camp, we're keeping 85. Make sure you're the 85th guy. Coach, teacher, leader, 50 years a warrior. In 1966, a young couple, at the time married for just two years, made the trip to Eastern Pennsylvania. The plan, he would take an assistant football coach position at East Stroudsburg State College for a year or two before moving on to the next stop in his career. But for Danny and Judy Dowds, what they discovered when they moved to East Stroudsburg was something more, a safe place to raise a family and a job that captured everything he loved about coaching collegiate football. You can ask our kids when you meet them. They'll say dad's happiest day is the day fall camp starts. He's got a step and a step and away he goes and I take a picture every year. His best friend, Phil Forrester, who's passed, um, said not too long ago, um, you know, some of us made a lot of money and I hope we've all had good loves in, of our lives and three of them married Judy's. Um, but Denny followed his heart and he probably is the happiest of all of us and that's the truth. Those two years quickly turned to eight seasons. Coach Dowds serving first as East Stroudsburg's tight ends and linebackers coach. Then the team's defensive coordinator. After eight seasons assisting head coach Charlie Reese, Dowds took over as the school's eighth head football coach in fall of 1974. We had no scholarships. Okay, uh, we said, hey, East Stroudsburg is a great place to get a, a college education. Poconos is a great place to spend it. And why don't you come on up and get in a competition? And we talked to everybody and anybody in that particular area. We had some fine athletes show up with that right there. And contribution of those people, they set the standard. The next year, the next two years, we go undefeated. And I think in the next four years, I think we had a top record in the country. Denny's old school. Denny Dowds teaches young men, you know, how to walk a young lady down a pavement how to pass salt and pepper shakers. He's taught everybody how to tie ties. When you talk family here at East Stroudsburg University, it truly is a family. When I came here, Denny's son was, was up to my waist and he seen my son come into the world and we've been through it together. And nobody will ever take that from us. That's a special thing. Now celebrating 50 years as an ESU warrior, the Dowds family has picked up countless extended family members and assistant coaches and players who have contributed to the success and camaraderie of the program over five decades. So I was a kid that never played college football, that knew he wanted to be a college football coach, and was roommates with the starting quarterback. So I was coaching high school football at the time in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and uh, our staff just got let go. So I come home that night and I'm bummed out and our starting quarterback, James Franklin, says, you need to go up and talk to Coach Dowd. Well, of course, he's a, a legend. I'm extremely nervous to go up. He says, no, you got to go up, you got to go up. He's expecting me. So I went up and Coach Dowd was actually leaving for the day. And uh, I says, Coach, I know you're leaving. Can I grab you for a second? And he goes, you're Mike Santella. knew my name right away. Sat down with me for an hour and a half and we just chatted about our backgrounds. And he gave me my first opportunity. When the final whistle blew and the clock was down on my career. And I remember, you know, everything happened very fast and Coach Dowds came up to me. He looked me right in my eyes, and said he was so proud of me. Um, and that was, a, that was a moment I'll take with me wherever I go. More than the touchdowns, more than the records. It's those moments, it's about family. Dowds couldn't have envisioned the depth in his career when he was a young boy and raised in Indiana, Pennsylvania. His varsity team at Indiana High School combined for a 26-1 record and two undefeated seasons in his three years. Upon graduation, he attended Slippery Rock University, where he played right guard on offense and a nose tackle on defense, earning all-conference, all-state, and all-American honors, and was named Slippery Rock's Outstanding Senior Athlete in 1962 and 1963. And he was a very serious football player. Like, he wouldn't speak to me on Saturday mornings. He would polish his shoes and polish his helmet, and then he had on his game face, and that, that was it, so that was the rule. I joined the ESU football staff in 1977, but I met Denny Dowd 18 years earlier. We were teammates at Slippery Rock. Uh, we played side by side. People said we shared the same helmet, which we did not. I graduated in 
in 62, he in 63, and he played on the 62 Sleeper Rock team that beat ESU in the state game, and he was a captain and All-American. Well, as for, we both graduated from Slippery Rock, and we were, we were very, very close, very similar lifestyle and so forth. I went to McDowell High School in Erie, and a year later, he followed me to McDowell High School, so we started our careers together in the same public school in, in Erie, Pennsylvania. Then he went to West Virginia, where he was also on the football staff down there. With a determination, passion, and distinct knack for getting the best out of his players, Dowds and his teams have racked up titles and championships, set records, and made history in Division II football. He's just a gentleman. He treated his players that way, and I think the players respected that, and they gave that respect back until this day. And I think that's why he has such, oh, God, such a following, and, and just uh, everybody just loving the guy. The big thing was always do it right. You know, I try to carry that on. If you're going to do a project or anything you got to do in life, if you do it right, things will work out fine. And that was his thing all the time. He was a stickler on all the little things, the little details. One of the things that will stick with all the guys that played with him was uh, the discipline. We had the hill. We used to back then our practices were on the uh, the outfield of the base, the now base, the present baseball field. That big hill, right field, that was the punishment. You had to run hills. Then he's real passionate. And he's, he's really an, an intense guy, and he just loves to compete. Through the game of football, Saturday afternoon is what runs through his veins. You know, he taught us about being consistent. You know, in everything he does you know, for 50 years, guys that played from 74 you know, to 2004 to 2016, everything's kind of been you know, very consistent in his program. For Dowds, it's more than just a game played on Saturday afternoons. It's about making his players accountable for their actions and being the best that they can be in life. His philosophy is really to teach the whole student, um, not just the student athlete, but the whole student. He expects them to get good grades. He expects them to display appropriate manners. He expects them to dress well. My first football game, my first fall here, and I was at the football game, and we actually won the football game, and I go out on the field, and. He has the team there and they hand me the team ball, the game ball, and it was really fun. And I think he, and he's just had a piece of my heart ever since. It's impressive, Coach, how uh, you know, you've made it through the different generations of players, the different types of players, and you're still producing winning players on the field, winning teams on the field, and winning players in life. And that's, that's a tribute to you because you are, you know, you're, you guys like you are the foundation of the country developing the future leaders of the next generation. East Stroudsburg University is honored to celebrate the 50th anniversary of head coach Denny Dowds. It'll never happen again. I hope people that are watching this know this will never happen again. We live in such a, uh, I call it a sports center society. Everybody wants the highlights. Everybody wants instant gratification. Everybody wants results now. And there'll never be another Denny Dowds again. Because I don't care what job you're in, you're going to have lean years every few years. And in our society today, they're going to get rid of the coach. And Coach Dowds, the greatest test of a person is what you've done over a period of time. And he's done it for 50 years. There will never be another Denny Dowds because of the society that we live in today. So I'm, li I'm literally working for a living legend. And I know that. And I appreciate every day I come to work. Coach, you are a warrior in every way. For everyone's life you've touched, thank you. Thank you for 50 years of dedicated service, not only to this institution and athletic department, but Division II football as a whole. Congratulations on uh, your 50 years and, and more. Congratulations on 50 years. Thanks for all you've done for the Warriors. Congratulations, Coach. You make me proud to be a Warrior. So congratulations, and it's been a pleasure watching you. Congratulations on 50 years. It's been awesome working with you. You've been a role model for all of us. Uh, keep it going. Congratulations, Coach Dowds. Here's to 50 more years. Great having you here at East Stroudsburg University, an icon in our department, and uh, we're looking forward to many, many more. It's Coach Downs, it's been a pleasure working with you for these past 27 years. I love your enthusiasm and your good morning whenever you come in. You're, You're a great, great warrior. Congratulations on 50 years of being a warrior. For your commitment to ESU and your passion to lead and inspire, thank you. Warriors.